Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic, and we have a Bachelor Nation news story. That's right. It's the off-season. Not too much in the Bachelor Nation world happening, but a rarity for charity. <laughs> Bachelorette, uh, for the first time ever, releases in advance where they're filming. Are they trying to get ahead of the spoiler accounts? Not too sure. Do me a favor. Follow me on Instagram at dneals. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal for behind-the-scenes bonus content, and I'm going to give you some behind-the-scenes content today. On today's Patreon, I'm going to tell you who I filmed with over the weekend that is a recent alumni, a recent star and finalist from a recent season of The Bachelor or Bachelorette. Uh, I'm doing a new project. It's looking fantastic. And I'm going to show you guys that footage on today's Patreon, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. That'll air around 10 a.m. this morning. Um, I'm doing the Love to See It podcast. That's why I'm recording this so early. It's like 7 a.m. right now on the West Coast. But I'm doing the Love to See It podcast where we're going to discuss some Love is Blind news. There's a lot to talk about in the online, or I should say in the reality dating world, but not too much within Bachelor Nation. But we're going to get into this story right now, hear a clip of what Reality Steve has to say, being this an unprecedented moment. And this afternoon, we're going to discuss American Idol Top 20. Are you guys watching? They're actually having a ratings boom. It's a fantastic uh, uh, cast right now. And I stayed up late last night because I had a stand-up show. I watched American Idol after, so I'm paying. The, I'm paying that Monday morning price. That's right. Even Dave wakes up uh, at his job begrudgingly and splashes coffee on his face trying to figure things out. So well, let's. So and by the way, I want to thank people over the weekend for your loyalty and watching this interview I did. I did an interview with two alumni of Love Is Blind, and they are completely exposing the system. They're doing what no bachelor or former bachelor contestant has ever done, which is really, really expose the bad work conditions that exist on the show. That video is getting a ton of views. You can listen to the full podcast version on uh, the on Bachelor Rush Hour. And um, it, we're going to keep doing interviews like this because you guys seem to really resonate with it. So thank you for everyone who's checked that out. All right. See new Bachelor at Charity Lawson. Head to Fiji to find love in exclusive first photos from her season. Uh, the new season of The Bachelorette kicks off on ABC June 26th. I'll be honest, guys. I am worried about the ratings for this show. I do not see it doing well in this summer time slot. Um, we'll have to see how it goes. We'll have to see what kind of attention it draws. It's really going to come down to, are the trailers good? When the trailers are good, when we see someone like Colton jumping over a fence, or we see Hannah Brown moving a podium, we tune in. Will they get that moment with charity? Um, what is good for charity is probably not good for ratings, which means is, you know, as a therapist, will she be level-headed enough to know what she wants and not create that drama that sells tickets, but is healthy for her? Or, and some therapists can let me know, y'all may be the messiest people I know. Sometimes therapists, kind of like lawyers, like lawyers are good for, le like, if you need legal help, go to a lawyer. But if you want someone to drink with, go to a lawyer, because they party. Is Charity, which, which category will she fall into? We'll have to see. Love could be a sure thing for Charity Lawson in people's exclusive first photo. Uh, the 27-year-old initially, blah, 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 Zach's heart. Okay, so this is one of those AI-written articles. It's terrible. But the question is, why did they release the photo? And honestly, Charity's beautiful. This is, I could have taken this photo with my iPhone. In fact, I probably did take this photo. Like, what is going on? They could have, they could have done... With, without much fanfare, a Sports Illustrated style, get that gold tinfoil thing, a little mister, a leaf blower in her air. What are we doing? What are we selling with these photos? So the the public the PR aspect of me goes, this doesn't help charity. This doesn't help the show. And this doesn't even help Fiji. When I look, 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 for Jay and Dave, when I go uh, to the tropical islands, I put on some show, some choice lighting. Um, we show you a nice drone shot. This we see is just a jetty. Uh, you know, you half expect to see a dog taking a dump in the background of these photos. These are not good photos. And again, I'm not blaming charity at all. What, I don't understand what they're trying to sell. Why are they putting them out there? And I don't know. It, but in, either way, it doesn't really build up hype. Let's listen to what reality. Oh, and by the way. Stick around to the end of this video. I have a surprise engagement announcement. Stick around to the end. That's called a teaser, folks. Let's listen to Reality Steve and what he has to say about this unprecedented leaking of the location. I was waiting to find out where they were going for overnights and final rose ceremony. 
And I didn't know because sometimes I know. Look, sometimes I know before the season where all the locations are. Sometimes I know as filming goes along, and sometimes I haven't heard. There's no rhyme or reason as to when I find out and if I find out. And if I don't find out, that has no rhyme or reason to am I going to get the ending spoiler right. It's just there's no correlation between anything, although other people will have to probably have an issue with that. But I tell you not, what, I, I grilled, I always ask reality, Steve, because I think it's so funny that his spoilers do come from different places. A lot of people go, oh, he must know, you know, one one of the producers or whatever. His spoilers come in from 360 degrees of places. He gets emails and carrier pigeons and someone's mom shows up to his nephew's soccer practice. He passes a white manila envelope and says, for your eyes only, Steve, uh, this will self-destruct after you open it. And it's like, speaking of self-destructing, who's going to be on Bachelor in Paradise? Just, you could go back over the track record. Sometimes I have all the locations and sometimes I don't. It's just tit or miss. But on Friday... The Bachelorette ABC Instagram account, here it is, or in conjunction with People Magazine, posted pictures of Charity in Fiji and saying that Charity is continuing her journey in Fiji for overnight dates. That has never happened in the history of this show, and this show has been on a long time, over 20 years. This is the 47th season, and they've never actively told their audience where they are in a collaboration with an entertainment site while the show was still filming. It's never happened before. And what is the collaboration all about? Like, they're not selling anything. It's just so random. Is it just to stay in the news cycle? If it is, why not use a better lens, better photography? I mean, you hate to say it because I hate to go off of the comment section, but people are commenting, I'll pass, pass. And it's this is not charity's fault. It just doesn't give the allure of some magical, you know, uh, uh, heavenly world they're living in because it's just a bad photo, okay? Again, don't take this. And, and I'm going to watch the show and support it and hype it up all I want. I'm just like, couldn't they? I mean, fly me to Fiji. I'll get the drone camera. We'll be zipping around her sarong. You know what I mean? We'll be flying through the thing. We'll be all over the place. You know what I mean? Oh, boy. Good grief. They have been caught filming in different places. Like, we found out they were in, you know, the state of Washington. We found out they were in New Orleans and pictures got out. But that wasn't the show announcing that. This was the show in collaboration with people giving them pictures, professionally done pictures of charity on the beaches in Fiji, where they are for overnights and final rose ceremony, and People.com doing an exclusive story on it. They also said in that story that charity started with 29 men, which is the 29 men we were given on Facebook back in March. So looks like every guy that was on that Facebook page and the guys that were on the potential list all made the cast. Unless people reported that wrong, it looks like all those guys ended up making the show. Nobody got cut early. It's very possible people got the number wrong, but that's what it said in the story, that Charity began her journey with 29 men. So hopefully we'll we'll find out for sure if they were right. But she's in Fiji, and the show collaborated with people to announce that she's filming in Fiji. All right, there it is. Go check out Reality Steve's podcast for all of his news. Looks like he's covering American Idol, too. I'll have to get Reality Steve on on the show to talk American Idol. Uh, We will be talking about that on this afternoon's Bachelor Rush Hour. Like I said, i got to get out of here in a minute. I'm going to be doing the Love to See It podcast. You guys listen to Love to See It. Um, Emma and Claire, Claire, do I have that right? Um, But they they have a hit podcast uh, in the Bachelor world, and we're going to be talking about Love is Blind and some other news. I got some some great TV recommendations for things I've been watching. I can't wait to share it with you. I'll be sharing that on the podcast, the uh, Be All End All podcast, Bachelor Rush Hour, which, by the way, we had a killer weekend. Kill- Their YouTube channel's not doing too well. There's n- there's nothing to talk about. It's no- nobody's fault. Um, when it bleeds, it leads, and right now it's not bleeding, okay? It's perfectly healthy. The skin condition of the YouTube channel is too nice. I'm like, can we get some band-aids out here? Maybe juggle some swords because we need to uh, draw some blood metaphorically. All right, and speaking of love and speaking of great moments for the channel, you guys might know this already. I have a community page on Facebook called Dave Neal's Community. Perfectly free, and it's a place where a lot of members of the community can come and share good news and talk about things and share tip updates about what they want to talk about. I want to read for you guys this um, message that I got uh, from one of our friends. We'll call her Stutes. 
Hi, family. I've been so distant lately, but I'm always thinking about you all. I wanted to write a semi-love letter to Dave Neal and his community. When I was at my lowest at my office job and arguably more active in this community, I took a leap of faith and decided to change careers entirely and start working a little more for myself. When I stopped working in the career I went to college for and changed to working full-time at Aldi, I saw an incredible shift in my happiness and overall quality of life. This community and Dave gave me the courage to make that jump, and for that, I will be forever thankful. Early this morning on the rainy streets of Philly, my boyfriend asked me to marry him. Oh boy, life just keep going. Uh, life just keeps going up and up, and so I'm so excited for the future. That is all. Thanks for everything, and just trust me. I'm creeping here in the background. So she doesn't say whether or not she said yes uh, in the post here. So just to make sure, let's watch this engagement here, and you guys can judge for yourself if this is a happy uh, response. The spoiler alert: it is. <laughs> here it is, folks. Oh, on that side. By the way, beautiful rain. Whenever when, this is why this. By the way, this is why they water down the mansion uh, because the filming looks better. Because the ground's wet, it gets this beautiful like spotlight coming down. A very dramatic shot here. Perfect. All right, so just stay right there. You're gonna be a part of the trick. He's, he said you're gonna be part of the trick. So he's faking a, a magic trick here. Uh, yeah, that's good. Does she know? Does Stutes know right now what's going down? Looks like he's got like a yo-yo. She's laughing. Nervous. She's like, what are we doing here? There it is, folks. She said yes! She said, hey, honey, e Stutes said yes. That's right, folks. Unbelievable. Not a dry eye in sight here, folks. That's love. That's real love, too. None of this fake bachelor stuff where they meet for three days. This is real love. So good for them. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure there's some sort of, uh, I don't know, they're on some sort of bridge somewhere. Maybe this is where they first met or had their first fight or maybe their first handjob. Who knows what it could have been. So many different things. We'll have to find out. Students, get in the comment section and tell us the meaning of this uh, sort of uh, Philly rendezvous here. But um, right at the end here, you see um, in, in his uh, joy, forgets to put the ring on her. Now, my worry is, are they on some sort of overpass? What if this ring bounced out of his hands when he did that little yo-yo move? This could have been deadly. A, a real ring risk taker we have here she said you got to put it on me she's like you're not just going to present me a ring you're going to throw that sucker on me like a man all right, so they were very happy for you, Stutes, and and Mister or soon to be Mister Stutes. So I want to thank you guys for sharing that with me. I, I I'm befuddled. I'm befuddled by the community sometimes. Your joy and compassion and unity. Um, it's unconditional and it inspires and reminds me what this is all about. This is about uh, growing and having some friends to share it with along the way. We'll see if Charity can share with us what the hell goes down in Fiji. More content coming your way. I'll be on Patreon at the 10 a.m. hour. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. We'll talk to you after that.